All right then, so Lifeweaver is the newest hero in Overwatch 2 and is coming to season four on April the 11th. What is up everyone, it's CMG here. So we finally got a chance to see some small gameplay of the new support from the small trailer that we've gotten here. Now, I know I'm not one of these guys who can play him right now, but what I can do as a substitute is showcase off the trailer in question and then do a small rundown of his kit. Nothing factual, just opinionated. There's quite a lot to unpack here, from some rather useful abilities to a rather standout one that might render this more of a troll ability than helping teammates. I'm sure you know which ability I'm talking about. Uh, you'll see what I mean when we show the kit. All right, so here is all of Lifeweaver's kit in all its glory. Now, we're going to go from weapons and ultimate to all of the abilities. Actually, no, we'll, we'll talk about the ultimate at the very, very end. Uh, we'll go with weapons, then abilities, then passive, then ultimate. All right, so let's have a look at the weapons section here. So we have Healing Blossom and Thorn Volley. Now, the Healing Blossom, I believe, is it's more of a charged heal than anything else. So the longer that you hold the either, if you're on console, it's R2. If you're on PC, it's probably left click. But the longer you hold this, the more healing you deal out. So if you just keep tapping the heal, you won't heal all that much. I believe this is how this is going to work. So it's more of a charged heal. You let go and then you throw all of your healing at your teammate. So that is how Life Weaver is going to uh, heal his allies. Uh, you've also got the Thorn Volley here, uh, which is his weapon. This is his defense mechanism against enemies. Now, if you are familiar with the Needler from the Halo series... It's basically this. Uh, so he's got like a bunch of needles in his arm, uh, which he fires out towards enemies. And then when he reloads, he replenishes some of the needles in his arm. So this is how he throws out his defensive um, weaponry. Pretty interesting. Okay, so let's move on to the abilities section. So we have Petal Platform, Rejuvenating Dash. And well, this one down here, Life Grip, is the one everybody is a little bit concerned about. Yeah, we'll get to that in a very, very brief moment. So the Petal Platform, I believe, is something that you can place down on the ground. And then when somebody stands on top of the platform, it levitates them up. Now, this is interesting because you can help people just levitate from a high... I mean, it, it gives you a chance to put themselves in a high... like a high ground. I would say. So let's say, for example, you're a, I don't know, I'm just throwing a name out at the top of my head, um, Hanzo. Uh, so if Hanzo stands on top of the platform, then he's got high ground and he can throw arrows down onto a choke point or something like that. I don't know. It's just something, it's a, it's a name that's just popped out of my head just to start off with. But yeah, this is the sort of thing you, you can do. Another thing that I've seen people do um, in gameplay videos uh, is throw the ultimate down, the tree of life you can see down there. We'll, we'll talk about that in a moment. But yeah, they actually put this ultimate on top of the platform. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but um, interesting ability. The next ability we have here is Rejuvenating Dash. Now, I think this is the ability that he's going to use uh, to evade himself from oncoming attackers. Uh, so if you're being dove upon by DPS, I would say, uh, you would trigger this ability to uh, move further away from those attackers. Uh, but also, it lightly heals you when you do it so it's going to be healed quite a bit if you think you know you've got this it's almost very very similar to moira's fade but a bit shorter but it also heals you instead so i don't know like with moira's fade it's more of a longer distance and you can make yourself invisible for a while but with life weaver it's more like you just dash for a short period but the only difference is you can heal yourself. So that's kind of a cool thing. Now then, let's talk about the one thing everybody is a little bit concerned about. And I guess I am as well. Because this is the ability which is going to conjure up... Well, it's going to tee off a lot of controversy based on the fact that it's going to be used more of a troll ability than anything else. I'm sure a lot of people have been talking about it. Now, Life Grip is basically... If you see somebody out of position or falling off the map you can use the ability to drag them towards you uh, to avoid danger or something like that. Now, the problem with this ability, in terms of, well, as far as I'm concerned, is 
it's going to... Basically, you're going to lose your control over your character at the expense of another player. And, well, <laughs> imagine if you're one of these guys who is diving in on the point and suddenly your teammate who's playing Life Weaver triggers the life grip and then just decides to drag you back. It's going to be a bit annoying. And especially when, you know, if you're one of these troll players, I'm sh I don't know if you've seen quite a lot of... Uh, areas on certain maps. Let's talk about Ilios Well for a minute. Uh, that massive hole in the middle of the point. Now imagine if <laughs> you've got a troll life weaver player on your team and then suddenly he wants to be a bit funny and then drag your one of your teammates into the hole because he feels like it, because he wants to do it, because he thinks it's funny. And uh, yeah, I, I don't like the idea of that. I really don't. I think what could have been a bit better, just thinking about an ability, because I thought about this this morning, is maybe if he had like an ability instead of life grip you throw a shield like a temporary shield onto an ally and for a brief moment it deflects projectiles or deflects enemy projectiles and then hits them back at them instead so kind of like a, a zarya bubble but with genji deflection capabilities i think that would have been a bit better but i don't know this is this is kind of I'm a little bit worried about this ability, to be honest. We'll have to see, you know, how this is used. Apparently, it's a, it's got a huge cooldown. I think it's like, what, 10 seconds? 10 to 15 seconds cooldown? So, you're not going to be able to use this all the time. So, yeah, makes sense if there's a longer cooldown. Because if you've got this available all the time, and you're just literally dragging people around, your teammates are going to get very annoyed with you. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, we'll just have to see how that works. There's also a passive ability down here called Parting Gift. Now, basically what this is, is whenever you die, you drop down a sort of collectible that you can pick up and it will heal you. Now, the thing is with this ability is that it can also heal enemies as well. So, not I mean, if, if, he, if he drops it down when, when he gets killed and then one of your enemies walks over it and collects it, then you're not going to get the benefit of the heal when he dies. Well, I guess you have to be very cautious of where you die. So that's an interesting ability. And then finally, we have the ultimate ability called the Tree of Life. Now, if you remember a while ago in this video, I said that you could actually levitate this on top of the pedal platform. I've seen quite a lot of people do this uh, in some small gameplay clips that I've seen around on, on the internet. Now, basically what it is, is you plonk a tree down anywhere you want, and wherever it is, if your teammates are in proximity of this tree, the tree will sort of pump healing out to all of your teammates. So, that is ridiculous. Um, and I'm, and I'm, I would like to think that this, this ultimate ability has a very, very, very slow charge. Because I'm sure that there's quite a lot of abilities out there uh, that have quite a, like a very, very long charge to charge it up compared to others but I'm, I'm willing to bet that this one's probably got a uh, a longer longer charge up so in an example it's going to take you a while to charge this ultimate uh compared to other ultimates because uh, this is this sounds quite i would say a little bit overpowered but we'll see we'll see how it we'll see how it goes so there you go that is life weavers abilities and weapons uh what do you think about all of this let me know about it in the comment section down below will be interesting to see what you guys say. And uh, make sure we keep it all positive, guys. We want to be able to strike uh, some positive conversations about the hero. Thank you very much for watching the video, guys. If you like this idea for content and you want to see more in the future, go ahead and click on the subscribe button, send a comment, like the video, and then turn on your notifications. It really does help me out a great deal. You can also check me out on all of my social medias, my Twitter account, my Discord, and of course, my TikTok. Thank you for stopping by, chaps. Have a great day. Have a great life. Be nice to your fellow gamers because we're all human beings. I've been CMG as always, and until the next video, I shall see you later. Peace.